I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I am a Brookwood Junior High School student. I am loved. My life matters. My teachers have high expectations for me. I have high expectations for myself. When one door shuts, another will open. I will persevere. I will succeed. I am the future. I will not use my hands for hitting or my words for hurting others. I will use them only for helping. Good morning, staff and students. Just a few announcements for today, March 30th. Students that are in person learning, please make sure your parent self certifies you each morning before you arrive at school. Students that are in person must bring their school issued computer and charger every day to school. Students, please remember to charge your computers at night. Also, students, just a reminder, all school supplies that were provided by the school district should remain in your pod and should not be taken home. You should take your computer home and charge it and make sure you keep it in the case when bringing it to and from school so it is protected. Students, please complete your morning SEL check-in survey each morning. We do have our competition between first period classes every two weeks when students receive their incentive point paycheck. We will tally up the total number of students completing the daily check-in from each first period class. The two first period classes with the highest average of students will earn 25 points to be used for the PBIS monthly events. Our next PBIS event will be a virtual scavenger hunt in April, and then we will have virtual free gym day in May. Students, please complete your SEL check-in survey so you can win those points. Here are the standings from yesterday. In first place, Ms. Craig, 86%. In second place, Mr. Schmalz, 85%. Ms. Jones, third place, 81%. Ms. Baker, fourth place, 81%. Ms. Rowan, 73%, Mr. Broderick, 68%, Mr. Temple, 68%, Mr. Suarez, 56%, Ms. Moirano, 56%, Ms. Shields, 53%, Ms. Cruz Cantornum, 49%, Mr. Walsh, 43%, Mr. Lager, 6%. Mr. Lager's class got to do much better. Students, if you have a D or an I in any of your classes, you will be required to stay on camera for the entire time your teacher is on live teaching. We need to ensure that students are engaged in their teacher's live instruction. Students, this is a requirement if you have a D or an I. If you refuse, we do have to contact a parent. Students, remember our incentive program is tied to student progress achievement and attendance. You can redeem points for prizes, however, in order to receive your prizes, each student must be academic and attendance eligible. If students are receiving a DRI or if they have not been in attendance for more than 5% of the quarter, they would not qualify for the highest tier level of prizes, which does include gift cards. If you did not receive your prizes yesterday, you can still come to the junior high between 8 a.m. and 3.30 p.m. Monday through Friday to receive your prizes. Remember, our system is aligned with our Positive Behavior Intervention System, or PBIS program. Our PBIS program tells us to be safe, be respectful, and be responsible. Teachers do give a point in each tier when students exhibit all expectations under each category. Students also receive their point paycheck every two weeks, which keeps them informed of their incentive point total. Just a reminder, here is what each category looks like. To be safe, students can earn a point by choosing a distraction-free space, having their parent or guardian call in if they're going to be absent, using all electronic equipment as it is intended, and letting the teacher know in the chat if, the, if they have to step away during live instruction. For being responsible, students can earn a point by having their camera on when asked or required, using the chat appropriately to participate and not talk with friends during the teacher's live instruction, and for logging in on time and being ready to learn and for being respectful, students can earn a point by starting each class with their device charged or plugged in, having all their materials ready for learning, and turning in their work on time. Students, please try your best and earn those points. Remember, you can earn up to 18 points a day. Please ensure you're completing all your work on time so you don't fall behind and have to play catch up. If you need extra help from your teachers, you just need to ask. Teachers do offer extra help at the end of each day from 2.50 till 3.15 p.m., so please speak up if you need extra help. Remember, students, try your best to become an ILEAD student. ILEAD stands for Individual Learners Excelling Academically Daily. Each core teacher chooses five students when it's their turn to choose. Every other week, we do show a video recognizing the top five students. Remember, if you're absent or if you need to see the lesson again, you can request to see your teacher's recorded lesson. 
This week's call tool is prevention, social distancing expectations. Each day this week, your teacher will review these expectations with you during your morning meeting, and on Friday, you will participate in a Kahoot on these expectations. Students, please remember to follow your class schedule and log on to each of your teacher's Google Meets at the designated time. Your teachers share a link for their Meet in their Google Classroom each day. If you're having any tech issues, please contact our help desk at 708-300-3553 or email our help desk, helpdesk at brookwood167.org. Remember, when you are online learning, you must follow all school rules and expectations. Our grab-and-go meals are still available for all students Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. till 11.30 a.m. Just pull around to the east side of the junior high to door 12 to receive your grab-and-go meal. We have no birthdays today. Students, please remember to keep trying your best so you can get recognized by your teachers for completing exceptional work. Our math word of the day is interest. To figure the interest, you take the principal times the rate times time in years. Our quote of the day, life is a gift and it offers us the privilege, opportunity, and responsibility to give something back by becoming more. Hashtag Brookwood Strong, staff and students, have a great day.